Hi, my name is Mark Ryan, and today I'm going to show you a quick little video that compares the performance of a Raza chatbot that was specifically designed to answer questions about movie trivia with GPT-3. So first we're going to go through and ask the Raza chatbot some questions about movie trivia. It's going to start up in a second here. So there are seven questions we want to ask, and we're going to start with who's the director for Blade Runner? Now the chatbot does take a little while to come back, but I expect it will come back and have the correct answer. Very good. What about the cast for the Ten Commandments? And it'll go off and take a look for that. Interesting. So uh, I looked this up beforehand. These are in fact correct members of the cast, but they're not exactly who I was looking for. You expect Charlton Heston or Yul Brenner to be in this list. So it's correct, but not really what I'd like. What about the year of Star Wars? That should be fairly easy. 77, correct. The genre of Soylent Green. Okay, mystery, I may have put science fiction first, but not a bad answer. Movies with Harrison Ford. This will take a moment to come back. Not bad. So that's a pretty good list, uh, decently ordered. And finally, this is a bit of a challenge, comedy vampire movies. So we're mixing two different genres together and seeing whether the chatbot can provide a decent answer. And looking at this, uh, not really. So we asked seven questions and the chatbot got uh, about six of them right. So not bad, not bad. Now let's go take a look and see what GPT-3 can do for us. So I brought up the GPT-3 playground here with Q&A. And we're going to go ahead and ask it the exact same questions with no further prompting and see how it does. So starting with who's the director of Blade Runner? Correct and considerably faster than the chatbot was. How about the cast of Ten Commandments? That's better. Charlton Heston, Yul Brenner first. So a correct answer, I would say a more correct answer than the chatbot. And let's ask about what year did Star Wars come out? Also correct. What about the genre of Soylent Green? Not bad, not bad, sci-fi. I've seen it respond previously with science fiction, but that's good. How about the movies of Harrison Ford? Very good. Now, look, Star Wars, the um, capitalization of Star Wars is a little bit questionable, but the others look fairly good. Yeah, all looks fairly good. And finally, the challenging question, the one that uh, the Raza chatbot did not get correct, list comedy vampire movies. This looks pretty good, but uh-oh. One of the anomalies with GPT-3, sometimes it'll repeat itself, and that's what it's done here. So what we've seen is comparing a specifically trained Raza chatbot, and this chatbot, believe it or not, took several months to train, uh, to, that responds with answers to movie trivia questions. We got six out of seven questions correct, just flat out correct. So the performance of GPT-3 compared to a specifically designed, specifically trained Raza chatbot is about the same. And as you saw, there was no training done with GPT-3. This is working right out of the box. So an interesting comparison. Hope that you found this useful and that, uh, you know, you take another look at GPT-3. Lots of interesting stuff there. Thanks for watching the video.